Hello all, welcome to Aura Trainings. In this session, we'll discuss about the basics of SQL statement. So we know that like in this particular internet era of application, any application which you use always will have a database. So you can be a developer from a different background, nothing but let us say because when any internet application is considered, it will include technologies from different areas. It can be a Java application, .NET, PHP, ASP or anything. But generally, predominantly 99 or 90% of the application will store the data in databases rather than the file system. So that's the reason where database is involved in every application. So whether you are a database developer or not, understanding a basic level of database or writing a simple select statement is very much important and mandatory for most of the developers. Okay. In this session, we'll just try to understand very simple SQL statements and how do we start with learning SQL statements. The objectives of this particular session is understand the capabilities of select statement. So in the select statement, there are a lot number of clauses. Like uh, when you deal with databases, right, you will get plenty of resources. The problem is availability of larger number of resources. So that's the reason we doesn't need to learn all those things and we don't find the time to learn all those things. The only thing is just learn what is required during the initial stages rather than getting deeper into the technology. So at this point of time, there's reason we just want to crisp in our learning content we just want to consider select and from clauses in this from clause in this particular session later on we'll just try to include few more clauses so these keywords this the, 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 the database keywords we call it as select from generally we call it as clauses or keywords you can use interchangeably so the basic select statement how does it look like so the sql query which you use it's not only related to oracle database generally like a sql sql is involved wherever you have databases, but predominantly the example or the database which I'm considering in my session is Oracle database, but more or less similar similar syntax will be applicable in other databases also, like IBM database or SAP database, or even if you consider like Microsoft database. So we MySQL or whichever database you consider, it should mostly work. Okay, because they follow appropriate ISO standards, and based on that, you may have a different kind of keywords, but the application or the queries or the general set of statements will be same. So here, if you observe in this particular syntax, we just have a few set of keywords if you observe carefully. So there are select is a keyword, distinct is a keyword, and from is a keyword. So these are three keywords of the appropriate database, whichever you use it, but in my case, it's Oracle. So select, distinct, and from. So let's try to understand what are the select and from tells you. So select tells you what columns you want in the output. Okay, so select tells you what columns you want in the you want in the output or which ones which columns you want to show in the output. Okay, either way or you can or you can say that which columns you want to retrieve from the database table and from identifies which table. So this which table is not only just single table. It can be a table. It can be a view or it can be a, it can be a combination of multiple tables also. Okay, so in simpler terms to understand from identifies from which source you want to retrieve the content from the database. So select identifies which columns you want in the output, from identifies which particular source or nothing but which table in easy to ways to understand which table you want to consider for retrieving. So table can be multiple tables or uh, and from clause not only refers to table, you can not only just mention table, you can mention database view and also you can mention materialized view also, okay? Now coming to next slide. So here, if you observe, like uh, in the select clause, we have an option to mention either single column or a multiple columns. So if you observe the first statement, it says that select star, just so asterisk or star means that all. So if we just mention asterisk, it means that it allows you to retrieve all the columns from the respective source. It can be a single, in, the, in our case, it is just a symbol, a single table. So in the next example, if you observe, if you want to retrieve only specific columns, mention those appropriate column names so in the select statement not only you need to mention not only you can mention column names you can also you can also mention a mathematical expressions and you can also mention the database functions which are available so let's try to understand the simple statement before getting further okay so let me enable line numbers i'm using a tool called oracle sql developer which is a free tool from oracle and i have connected to a database called Oracle XE database. So here, if you observe, select star from V dollar version, it tells me what is the database which I'm using, which database I'm using. I'm using Oracle database 18C Express Edition, which is a free tool for developer purpose. 
Now, let's say I want to see the list of records in my database table employees. So here, if you observe, when I just write a statement, I'm always mentioning a semicolon at the end, okay? So this tells you the, this, what exactly it signifies is that it tells you the end of the statement. So any query, whatever you write in the database, I'm talking about query. Whenever you write any query, it always starts with select, okay? And it ends with semicolon. So especially if you want to execute your statement within a SQL developer, the best and easiest way is end with a semicolon and you have a shortcut called control enter, okay? And you can also mention F5, okay? So if you mention F5, the output shows in a different window. Nothing but script output we call it as. When you mention control, when you execute with control enter, it ends in the script output. That's the only difference, okay? Now here, if you observe, I just mentioned select star. That's the reason it is showing me all the columns here. So if you observe carefully, so I have around 10 columns, I guess, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, yeah. So I have 11 columns in the output. So how many records I have? Right click on this one, click on count rows. It tells you how many records. It is having 108 rows. So a database table is a combination of rows and columns. It is similar to your Excel sheet. When you open any the Excel sheet, always you'll have a set of rows and columns, okay? So rows are nothing but records, we also call it as. Rows are nothing but records. And columns, we know what exactly it means. Now let us say I just want to retrieve only few columns rather than the 11 columns. I just want to retrieve only employee ID and first name and last name, I just want to retrieve, okay? So here if you observe, I can mention the database table name in the uppercase or lowercase, either way it will work. And even the keywords I can mention in uppercase or lowercase, it will work. But the database content, the value which is stored in the database is always case sensitive. But the database keywords are not case sensitive. I'll write here. So the database keywords are not case sensitive, okay? But the data is always case sensitive data is always case sensitive okay now now let's say assume that you know, like uh, let me add one more column called salary okay now i added salary let's say assume this salary is provide this salary which is there in this table is just for one month i want to show annual salary in this output how can i do so we know that annual salary is nothing but salary into 12. But how can I add up that expression, right? So if you have seen the first line, it was mentioned that, one minute, yeah. So here if you observe, we can mention column name as well as expression also, right? So what does expression means? Expression means it's a valid mathematical expression. Of course, it will have a different set of syntax, but similar to our normal mathematics. So in normal mathematics, if you want to calculate the annual salary, what you mentioned, a value of single month into 12. So I'll just mention the same thing here. Salary into 12 is nothing but manual salary, right? So here if you observe, right? One into 12 is 12. The remaining same, same thing in calculate. Now here the column name, what it is showing is salary into 12. Instead of showing it as salary into 12, you can represent with a different name like this, employee and sal. Employee and your salary. So this is how we can calculate a mathematical expression using this, okay? So now we just understood how to specify a specific columns rather than all columns, okay? So this is what we have just seen. SQL statements are not case sensitive, nothing but the keywords. SQL statements can be done in more than one lines. Yes, you can write in multiple lines. Keywords should be mentioned as it is. You cannot abbreviate or you cannot remove it. There are a few keywords which works Without, I mean, like a few few keywords in both ways, like if you consider describe, right? I can mention DESC or I can mention describe, D-E-S-C-R-I-B -E also. So clauses are usually placed in separate lines. Uh, lines. What does clauses mean? The keywords, select, from, where, group, these all generally we call it as clauses also. We generally used to indent the key, the set of statements so that, you know, it will be, beneficial during readability purpose. I mean to say like, let us say you have written a query today and if you have seen your same query after 10 days, you may forget what you have written also. You, you may not even understand what is the, re what is the reason of logic, uh, adding a particular function or a column. So that's the reason better always have appropriate indentation as well as appropriate comments also. We'll come across those writing comments in the next coming session. But in this one, just try to understand only about select as well as from. 
and arithmetic expression we just saw about multiplication right so here if you observe the pre precedence it follows our old mathematics rule called bod mass bot mass we generally call it as bracket of division multiplication addition and subtraction okay so there are a couple of simple samples like similar to these things so here if you observe so this is exactly a similar mathematical expression only only thing is you just need to mention the right hand right hand value like let us say when you write any mathematical expression in general mathematics you always require a left as well as right a is equal to b plus c so if you want to perform a summation the select query just mention only b plus c don't mention a is equal to b plus c that will not work here okay so the assumption is that whatever you whatever the expression which you mentioned that will be taken as a column that will be taken care by the select expression to represent in the output so here if you observe the last statement it says select last name salary comma 12 into salary plus 100 from employees so it's nothing but what it will do so bracket of division first of all bracket will be performed first so in the addition salary plus 100 will be done and then it will multiply multiplied by 12 for each and every record okay next coming to the very 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 important functionality or a value in oracle database it is called null value so null is not equivalent to blank Okay, null is not equivalent to blank in Oracle. Uh, I'm not sure about the other database, but in Oracle it is exactly null is not equal to empty value. Okay, and null cannot be compared with any other thing. So let's understand these things very carefully. So I'll just show you one example now. Select. So null is a keyword also. Null is a keyword and null is a value also. Here if you observe, let us say select null comma from dual. So here if you observe, you'll find the difference, right? So now here if you observe, I don't have any value here, right? So it is just empty. Here also I don't have any value, it's empty. So it displays the value as null here, right? Now let's say if I try to add one plus null and see the value, it is null. If you try to add null by null, see what is what will happen. Null by null is also null. Let's say null minus null also you just try to see null minus null is also null so nothing but what we are trying to understand here is null with anything is always null okay null with anything is always null whether you add it subtract it whatever you do it it is always null let's understand let's get back to our employees table now i just want to show you one important functionality here let's say assume that so there are set of employees where they acha yeah here if you observe there are some some set of employees who has commission and few employees doesn't have commission okay now let's say we just try to understand who are those poor employees who doesn't have commission okay or what i want to do is let us just print the commission first let's say i'll just print the commission now so now here it is printing the commission now we can clearly observe that it is displaying null right it is displaying null and there are few employees who who has commission percentage now assume that like your organization your organization has decided that so whichever employees who are not having commission percentage they just want to give one percent commission to those employees now before providing the value to the all employees directly the management want to understand like uh, what will be the value if at all if they give one percent commission to those employees who doesn't have it and then they want to perform some kind of analysis before actually announcing that so what we have what we require is as a developer database developer you just need to provide the output to your particular organization right like uh, from this particular database just mention one value wherever you don't have the commission percentage of course you can uh, you can perform the same functionality using excel sheet but let us say in real time